In Vectorworks, the chamfer tool creates a chamfered edge or lines between two adjacent sides of an object. This is immensely useful when designing any sort of custom 2D geometry that requires chamfered edges. Before we go into how to create chamfers with this tool, it is important to understand the different entry options this tool has to offer. The chamfer tool preferences allow you to change what values you use to create your chamfers. In the chamfer settings dialog box, you can select one of three entry options. First and second lines, which will let you define where Vectorworks will create the chamfer by defining the length of two adjacent lines of your object. First line and angle, which will use a length and angle value to create a chamfer. And finally, the chamfer line length entry option, which lets you input your desired chamfer length and has Vectorworks calculate its position based on the adjacent lines you select. For this example, we will use the first and second lines entry option. Notice that as you hover your cursor over the edges of your object, they will highlight in red. The aforementioned first and second lines of the chamfered edge are defined by the order in which you highlight and select the edges of your object. The chamfer tool itself has three primary modes. Standard mode will place a line representing your chamfer over your object but will keep the object intact. Split mode will chamfer your object and also splits the object at the chamfer location. And finally, trim mode will create a chamfered edge on your object by trimming away any other geometry that would normally be retained by the previous two modes. In combination with the other powerful tools and commands in Vectorworks, the chamfer tool can be used to quickly create custom 2D geometry and the profiles for other more complicated shapes.